This gathering today is a blessed gathering in Allah. If Allah did not come to you among those who should witness this gathering yesterday, you will never be able to, 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 to be present here today. Those people who attend yesterday, they are the ones who are able to attend today. How far they are. Those who are not part of it before, no matter how close they are, they will never be able to be here today. Amr Tijani Sharif radiallahu anhu said the hours is to manifest to show but is not to 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 start anything not to create anything and gathering this kind of gathering that's the real meaning of thanking Allah Allah has said in Quran whenever you thank me I will give you more and Sheikh Ahmad Tijani Sharif radiallahu ta'ala anhu said there is no condition for that whatever you thank Allah he promised to give you more <laughs> Hadith al-Qudsi said, Allah said, Almighty, that uh, the love is, his love is guaranteed to those who, who gathered together just in the sake of him. And those people who love each other because of him. Those who give, exchange their money together because of Allah. And those people who get together just in the sake of him. All what the hadith has mentioned has been combined in this country. MashaAllah, all those people who are, who are able to attend today, without doubt, they have the love of the Almighty Allah. And Allah, whoever have his love, all your affairs is been guaranteed. Because the, the, when Allah loves you, the love is the first thing that Allah creates and He is the first thing. Allah he is the only one who was here without nobody. But the love you have, that's what He manifested until the Hafsat Muhammad happened to be. That's why we, we are saying Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We are among the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The best among all the Ummah. And this is the statement from Quran that he said the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are the best among all the Ummah. We are among the murids of Sheikh Ahmad Tijani Sharif He is the best among all the shiuch and his murids they are the best in all the murids. And uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he is the one who told him that. He is the one who told him whoever took your tariqah and he did not leave it after took, taking the permission from the sheikh. You, you did not un insult Sheikh Ahmad Tijani or his Khalifa. He said you will never see something that worries you or upset you while you are alive until you die, until you're going to enter paradise. Allah will be your guarantee. After that, we are among the Sahaba of Sahib al Faida, which is Maulana Sheikh Ibrahim Anas. That's three baraka and blessings combined together. He said it yesterday. Allah is not giving that all those three blessings. 
to everybody. You can see somebody who calls himself a Muslim and deny one Tijania. You can see somebody who calls himself a Muslim, call himself a Tijani, but he's denying the Ahlul Faida. He said, well, you will never see somebody who you call Muslim, call a Tijani, call a Murir of Sheikh Ibrahim, and you will see him insult to any wali or disrespect to any wali. Because if you have somebody who have everything, you will never see somebody that you have more than him, and you will tell him something. But whoever that have the chance, the privilege to be a murid of Maulana Sheikh Ibrahim, you have to thank Allah. Sheikh Ibrahim said in Kaduna one time, he said the day of judgment. He said he will never accept no way to be in front of him, front of paradise. Except Sheikh Ahmad Tijani Sharif radiallahu anhu. He will not allow no wali to be in front of paradise except Sheikh Ahmad Tijani Sharif radiallahu He said he will never accept no wali to put their murids inside paradise except Sheikh Ahmad Tijani Sharif radiallahu anhu. And he said that day is so obvious and very clear to him. Like the same way that he's seeing the palm of his hand. That's why he said to Sayyidi Ali, his Khalifa, you have to advise the Murids to work hard in khidmah towards me. I did not say that to just pull any benefits for myself. What I know for sure, whoever is lenient towards me. You will regret the day that you will know that everything is in my hand, that I have it in control. He said there is one time one uh, murid, one murid is not, is, not, is not very long, one murid of Qadr who passed away in Kanu. One of his friends or family saw him in a dream. And he told him, uh, what, you, what, 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 what position you are, what you doing? He said, what I'm advising you, you are still in dunya. You have to go to the Sahib al house. The people of Murid of Sheikh Ibrahim and you, and you took their tariqah. He said, those are the only ones that I see here in the Day of Judgment, in this place. Whenever they reach, they will just tell them, move forward. Nobody will not do his half for them. Without those people, whoever came here, I saw you that they stopped you and uh, do a hisab for you. He said, me, I am a murid of Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. Anh, but before he came to give me shava to help me to rescue me, I was very, very tired. And the people of Sheikh Ibrahim, anh, nobody, see, nobody touch them and nobody stop them. And you that who are still alive, you better go and see them and take the tariqa from their hand and be among the murid of Sheikh Ibrahim. No. He said these words that he's saying, he's just saying to encourage the murid of Sheikh Ibrahim, but Sheikh Ibrahim doesn't need no, no encouragement or propaganda from anybody. Because Allah already gave him more than 100 million murids around the world. There is no, no sheikh who have that. And that, that sheikh doesn't need no propaganda. 
But we are saying that just to narrate you this story, to encourage you and to make you understand what you have. She has said this story that narrating a story, the benefit of that is one of is one of the war that Allah is the one who gave to the Aulia so that when they narrate it to you. It will encourage you. If it's a good narration that makes you, it will make you to be to love your sheikh or to love the awliya that they narrate you his story more. That's the benefit of narrating this type of story to make your heart more softer and more love to your sheikh. I hope I understand. <laughs> we have to hold our waist more tighter and work harder. And we have to hold our relig our religion, which is Islam, very firm. It's very, very clear. Islam is very clear. There is nothing that is dark in Islam. His night is like a day, and his day is, li is like a bright upon bright. We have to hold our Iman very firm. We have to hold our Ihsan strongly. And the Ihsan is where the Shuyukhs are coming. That's where those people who love Allah, that's the door that they're coming from. Uh, to quote it short, the people of Ihsan, they are the ones that Allah loves most. And we, Alhamdulillah, we are people of Ihsan. We have to know what we have, and we should know that Allah loves us, and we should love Him more. We come here today just to greet you, mashallah and to see you, and to ziyara you, and the sake of Allah. Some of you already came to Medina Kaulah. She already acknowledged that saw you in Kaulah and know you in Kaulah. Then if you come here, it's an obligation to him to come over here to see you, to see what you're doing as a form of respect. He said, Abdul Hafiz alone is enough for him to come here. Um, talk less of the Jama'ah in general. He's praying to Allah. May Allah help you. May Allah protect you. May Allah give you all what you want. May Allah put the love of Allah in your heart. May Allah put the love of Prophet Muhammad in your heart. May Allah put the love of, of Sheikh Ahmed Tijani Sharif in your heart. May Allah put the love of Mawlana Sheikh Al Islam Al Haj Ibrahim yes in your heart. All those is so is, is, is a different dose. Allah gives some people those that have some maqam, some daraja, some levels that they can stood and all those doors that he mentioned. Because Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Prophet Muhammad had mentioned before one door and paradise. 